front. Great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. They put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. They'll give him a couple that leaves him a third and eight. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. They don't even consider the 47-yard field goal attempt, and they'll try to pick it up on fourth down and short. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. No hesitation on that call and no reason not to go for it on fourth and inches. We're bigger than you, we're tougher than you, we're stronger than you, and we're going to get a push. And Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Steps away to find some room. He's going to run it. At the 20, he's got space. They finally corral him, but he turns that into a big gain and a first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Fires to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Wake Forest. And this offense gets on the board and the first passing touchdown of the season. And I feel pretty confident saying the first of many. This offense looks like they're in a good rhythm and this passing attack is going to be hard to stop. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good and it's a four-point lead. That is what they mean when they say ball control. They'll throw it on first down. Starting to feel a little pressure. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense pressuring the quarterback. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you They did a tremendous job working the middle of the field.
complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and we'll get ready to change sides for the second quarter. Guys, LSU has the lead here. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They've swapped ends of the field and we're ready to go in the second. Back on the field after the break, and we'll start the quarter here on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Brought down to the ground. down well the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles they couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. snagged in the middle it's green and he'll take it in and house it touchdown wake forest the defense has to be better on the back end they knew this offense was going to come out and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes. From the gun, running back on the move. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Out of the gun, the inside kick. The Demon Deacons will move the sticks with the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He's got it on the right. They make the stop trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Knocked down at the 34. After a pickup of five, it's a first down. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Looking to throw, it's Bachmeyer. Setting up the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the Demon Deacons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback moving. He'll try to do it himself. They'll force him out of bounds after a solid pickup on the play. And I think this is important for this defense. This will be a big key in the football game. Like, I got to limit the damage from that guy. Because that, that's a QB that's dynamic, and, and he can make so many big plays. I got to string him out. I got to make him get to the sideline. But I will say this. I do want to hit him at the end of the runs. I don't want to let him out of bounds and let him get free carries. I want it to be physical. The Demon Deacons have it in scoring position on first and goal. He's got his man. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The pass play, they hoped, would spread the defense out, create a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but they were equal to the challenge. Yeah, and that's a play there is. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wake! 
And this offense is firing on all cylinders right now. Starting the year, game one, created a little bit of a pad and separation at the end of this first half. But you can see why so many people are... They'll try the run. Hard running there. On the move at the 30. He now has 62 yards rushing already here in the first half. It's a season opener, but he's in midseason form. So much for the tough field position. One play, and you're already to the 35. Quickly complete. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. How about this running back's ability to get into a pass pattern and get into one downfield? I like it, and I like the offensive coordinator continuing to work to running back in the passing game. Do more of this. It's easy. It's not, it's not hard routes. It's not things you have to read. It's matchups and what I find when my guy's better than yours and how I take advantage of it. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Demon Deacons have their offense in high gear. Great players like this just do a good job of making you pay. And if you want to drop back and play coverage, that's fine. He can scramble around, buy time, beat you down the field. But if nothing's open, boom. I take it and easily get a first down, make a big play, just make it a headache for the defense. Here's the give off the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. It's complete to the right. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Touch pass on the jet sweep got the first down and more and they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play i love that play call and i love the timing of the pre-snap motion because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line because of the timing he was able to outflank the defense that puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. now down to the 12 yard line it's first down Got it in the middle. It's Alexander. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. And well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll run for it on third and short. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Between the uprights, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further.
Now on the option. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. To throw, it's Bachmeyer. Fires to the big fella. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. The Demon Deacons will send out the punt unit. The punters have had the day off up to this point, first one of the game. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Leaves it with the running back. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Still running at the 40. And he'll go out of bounds. And this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating afterburners coming. Touchdown, Demon Deeks! And they take it in for six more points. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, it's been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You, you better change the address, do something different. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They'll run it from the gun. And they make the... for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. With the catch, it's Fields. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. And the Demon Deacons pick up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. The Demon Deacons come to the line with a new set of downs. 
Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, you've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Wake Forest has the lead. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Hey. Eight. Why are you acting like that? Why not? Ruby was the one that was yelling first. Okay, okay. He'll just keep slinging it. Keeps looking downfield. Caught near the sticks. It's Claiborne. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points, and they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Got his man quickly. Touchdown, Wake! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win. But still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. And they pick up the extra point. Kicker knocked it right down the middle. The give out of the gun. Smashes through. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. They'll run the off tackle play here. Open space at the 25. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead, you want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. 
They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one, and all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around, and now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And, heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble and down he goes. A tremendous loss. That play right there is going to be a nominee for worst play of the season. Guys, have we seen a play that bad all season long? What is going on? Grabbed in the middle. It's Morin. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. There is a flag on the play. Personal if it's foul. on the D, it's Open not enough to give the offense a first down. So, guys, would you just leave the points on the board here? You must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty is going to give the offense a first down. And the Demon Deacons are on the move. On the run, it's Claiborne. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Now it's second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Touchdown, Demon Deacons! And the beatdown has ensued. Well, these players came together. I've been so impressed, not just by the talent, but also by their composure. Handling this kind of environment... They'll leave it with him. Picks up the first down, still moving. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. You got to be impressed by how you've seen this offense finish in this football game. They've been scoring points in the fourth quarter, just got a touchdown on their last drive, and there they rip off a big run. They are not letting off the gas pedal right now, and as a coach, you would love to see that. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They want that clock to run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And after putting an earlier field goal up, they'll try it again, this time a 45-yarder. The field goal is no good. Guys, I know the field goal wasn't good, but hey, 19. Well, how about this one? A fun one. These guys came in as underdogs, and they walk out as the winner. They didn't care they were unranked. That's not what they were worried about. Oh, this team's ranked. They weren't looking at any different. They were looking to come in and get the W and execute. Great job believing they could come, Jesse, and knock them off. Yeah, you're right, David. This team came in with something to prove, and they knew they had a national audience that was going to be paying attention to this game. What a great job going out under the lights, big-time stage against a ranked opponent, and really putting their A game out there on the field. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.